How to test the soil for CSAB production. To produce strong CSEB, compressed stabilized earth brick, you need to know the composition of the soil you are going to use. The soil should not be taken from ground surface, but should be taken from a minimum of 2 feet below the ground surface. Fill a jar up to 5 cm with soil. Mark the sides of the jar with a marker. Fill water to the top and stir or shake it around. Wait for 2 minutes for the sand to sink. Carefully pour away the water on top. That removes twigs, silt and clay. Remaining is the sand and gravel. Repeat the process 10 times or until the water is nearly transparent. Measure the sand and calculate the percentage of sand It is very important that the mix has a minimum of 55% coarse sand and 10% gravel. This means that if the test shows 30% sand and 10% gravel, you will need to add 25% extra sand before starting to produce CSEB. Use the following soil mixing table to calculate how much sand and cement you need to mix. Looks complicated, let's take it step by step. For example, the soil test shows 40% sand and gravel. With 40% sand and gravel, you will need to add 25% extra coarse sand. And this is how you should mix. 5 bags of soil, 4 bags of coarse sand and 1 bag of cement. Composition after mix. The soil mix now consists of 67% gravel and sand plus 33% of silt and clay which is equal to a perfect soil or sand mix for strong CSEB. The 10% OPC cement will bind with the sand and gravel during 21 days of curing, making the CSEB strong. Now calculate how much coarse sand and cement you need to mix. Lastly, before starting production, remember to sieve the soil to remove large particles and organic materials. The coarse sand and gravel is critical as it binds with the cement and makes the CSAB strong.